purpose of this video is to provide a hypothetical demonstration of the proposed iSocial system and how it might be experienced by a 12-year-old student in 6th grade who has been diagnosed with autism. We will call this youth Jonas. As with others who have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorders, Jonas's disorder is manifested by debilitating deficits in social behavior. It is because of these deficits that Jonas has been assigned an individualized education program for one hour a day that mandates he spend his time receiving targeted supports to develop skills to help him improve his social behavior. Under the supervision of his special education teacher or his parents, Jonas logs into his iSocial account and is presented with a personalized 3D home. In this space is a personalized agent for Jonas. This agent prompts Jonas to check his iSocial information console for news and information. This information console provides suggestions for things to do, information about others who are online, and ways to review what has already been accomplished. In addition to this, the personal space has a trophy case that shows the trophies that Jonas has won from completing the previous three lessons in a basic conversational unit. Shortly after Jonas logs into his personal space, he receives an invitation to join his peers and his instructor in a room designed to practice basic conversational skills. By accepting this invitation, Jonas teleports to this conversational room. Once he arrives in this room, his instructor organizes the conversational partners to complete a conversational task. After viewing a video that models inappropriate behavior, Jonas and his conversational partners are asked to discuss this video. To this end, the instructor asks the learners to enable their conversation consoles to discuss the video. The learners click a button on their screens to bring up the conversation console. This is a software tool to help them communicate effectively with each other and to complete the task. Looking through the conversation console's semi-translucent window, learners see information, prompts, and various tools, as well as the scene behind the window. The conversation console allows Jonas and his conversation partners to practice turn-taking by explicitly designating when it's their turn, by only providing a limited amount of turns to each conversation partner, and by using a token passing metaphor to let others know when one is finished speaking. Using the conversation console to mediate turn-taking and remain on task, Jonas and his conversation partners utilize microphone-equipped headsets to chat. When one learner is speaking, the system does not allow others to interrupt. Learners can only speak when the conversation token has been passed to them and it is their turn. In addition to this, the conversation console prompts the learners when they appear to be dominating the conversation, and it provides prompts and reminders for socially appropriate communicative behavior. Another feature of the conversation console is that it allows users to indicate their thoughts, which are shown in thought bubbles above their avatars. Jonas indicates his thoughts by selecting from a constrained list of choices in the My Thoughts area of the conversation console. After he selects a thought, it is displayed above his avatar's head along with a graphic representative of that thought. Jonas is particularly fond of this feature as it allows him to see what others are thinking and to draw connections between others' thoughts and actions. This is a skill that has eluded him in the real world. The conversation console makes it possible for Jonas and his conversation partners to be provided with explicit feedback from the system and from each other in order to help them adhere to the social rules of basic conversation. Once the conversation partners have completed discussing the video of inappropriate behavior, their instructor prompts them to watch a video of appropriate behavior and discuss it in a similar manner. Upon completion of the second conversation, the instructor then directs the learners to perform the behavior that they saw modeled in this second video. To this end, the instructor introduces two social agents into the environment, one of which the instructor can control, the other of which is pre-programmed. The instructor-controlled agent models appropriate social behavior, whereas the pre-programmed social agent models inappropriate behavior. The learners experience some difficulty in executing this task, but are ultimately able to complete it successfully. After this, they're prompted to use their conversation consoles to discuss why the pre-programmed social agent 
performed in a socially unacceptable manner. This discussion is ultimately their assessment. The assessment is not geared towards providing a pass or fail grade, rather it focuses on determining the learner's progress towards their specific individual IEP goals. This assessment activity is mediated again by the conversation console. Since Jonas has successfully completed this task, he is provided a trophy that he can display in his iSocial trophy case. In addition, the next level of the basic conversation skills unit is unlocked. The next time Jonas logs into iSocial, he will be able to access this new unit. In addition, the iSocial system compiles an email report and sends it out to Jonas's parents and teachers about what he did and accomplished that day, along with an invitation for them to log into iSocial and get recommendations for how to follow up on the greetings lesson at home and at school discuss with other parents ways of helping their child develop further mastery, and experience the greetings lessons themselves. To summarize, the current example shows how using iSocial can mediate Jonas's social deficits and help him move closer to achieving his particular IEP goals. The design of the system draws Jonas's attention towards recognizing and interpreting the environmental and interpersonal cues required for successful social interactions and it does so in a social context. Learners in iSocial actively engage each other in interpretation and explanation with the assistance of a mediator or instructor. Further, iSocial's learning and curricular supports focus specifically on the social skills with which individuals with ASDs struggle. The hypothetical experience we present you with today is exemplary of what users can expect when interacting with others in the iSocial 3D learning environment. iSocial provides an alternate reality in which learners can work on enhancing and improving their social abilities together in a safe, structured, and customizable environment. iSocial mediates learners' imagination abilities their abilities to recognize and interpret environmental and intrapersonal cues, and provides opportunities for interactive negotiation of meaning among peers. Based on current theory from autism research and instructional technology, and designed by leading educators, iSocial realizes the powerful potential of collaborative virtual learning environments for the treatment of individuals with autism spectrum disorders.